You're watching Fresh TV, and I'm your host, Richard Donald. Today, we're going to talk about how to fix the weather stripping on your car doors and windows. So stay tuned. This is my 1985 Oldsmobile Cutlass Sierra. It's a brome edition, which means that it has all the bells and whistles, for that era at least. It has cruise control, power windows, power locks. It has spoke hubcaps with the white wall tires. It's a V6 with four doors. It was a family car and it was supposed to be fuel efficient for the whole gas crisis during that era. If you have a car older than five years, or if you have a classic car, then you know that anything plastic, rubber, or glue will slowly start to dry rot and you'll find yourself fixing and replacing things over and over and over. So, I've made this video, firstly, to show you how much I love this car, and secondly, to show you how to make quick, easy repairs so that you can keep your car looking great as new. This has been my hoopty, my scraper, my Sunday kind of driving, chill, fall back, relax, and just cruise, low rider vibes sort of thing. I've hooked it up and installed a 12 inch subwoofer in the trunk with a 400 watt amp and a Bluetooth stereo so I can be hands free, listen to my music and make phone calls while I drive. So I can have similar amenities in this car, much like I do in my daily driver. To make this repair, you'll only need a few simple materials. You'll need latex gloves, clear waterproof silicone, and regular old masking tape. Go ahead and glove up. I think it's best to put your gloves on right away, especially since you're dealing with glue, chemicals, adhesives. Just go ahead and put the gloves on right away. Most silicones will come in a metal tube with a separate plastic applicator. When you open the silicone, just take a quick moment to read over the directions and the warnings and see what you're up against. Make sure you're not hurting yourself. Make sure you understand the substance that you're working with. The cap will have what I like to call a nipple. You will need to unscrew the cap and use the nipple to puncture the seal on the tube. Go ahead and set that aside for a moment and let's focus on the nozzle. You'll need a pair of scissors to cut the tip of the nozzle and you don't want to cut too low because the lower you cut, the bigger the opening is going to be and you want to make sure that you have a nice small opening so you can have control over the silicone as it comes out. might have a little difficulty opening the masking tape with the gloves on. So what I like to do is use the edge of the shears to kind of thread and get the tape started. Go ahead and tear off a good four or five strips of tape. Make sure they're about eight to 10 inches each and go ahead and apply them on your arm just as a temporary holding place until you're ready to use them later on. Make sure the surface that you're going to apply the silicone and the weather stripping is clean and clear of debris. Use care and patience to apply the silicone in a straight line with an even bead. the glue as far back as you can and get into the crevice where the old glue begins. You need to act fast and apply the weather stripping right away. the weather stripping sits flush against the car door lip. Before you can apply the tape, you're going to want to make sure your car door window is down and open. We're going to use the strips of tape that you've torn off 
similar to a clamp to hold the weather stripping in place. I think it's best to start taping at the transition between the old and the new glue and work your way towards the door jam. As you get closer to the door jam, you'll see that the weather stripping wants to bow. That's okay. Go ahead and apply more silicone and let's just tape that edge down. Silicone is a type of glue or adhesive and all glues and adhesives have a dry time or a cure time. Make sure you refer back to your directions so you can figure out what is the best dry time for your product. You can use this method for more than just the window seal. I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity to fix my door seal as well. My dry time said 10 minutes, but I don't trust that because I know it's a warm day and dry times and cure times are affected by temperature and pressure. So I'm gonna overshoot and go for a full hour. If you would like to save your silicone for a future use, you're gonna to wanna to preserve it in a way that allows you to use it again. Go ahead and stretch out your tube like you're trying to fix toothpaste. And you're gonna need a nail approximately the length of the nozzle with a girth big enough to plug up the hole. Don't plug the hole all the way, leave a little bit of room so that way when you're ready to use the silicone again, you can just quickly grab pliers and pull the nail out. Once your dry time has completed and you're confident that the silicone has set, it's now time to remove the masking tape. Gently remove the masking tape, making sure you're not using excessive force, which could potentially rip off the silicone you just set. Examine your work and see if there's any glue spills or anything of that nature. If there are, don't try to clean it now, let it dry, and then try to scrape it off later. If you try to scrape it off now, it might be wet and you might smear it and you might end up with a worse issue. looks good, go ahead and gently apply pressure to the weather stripping to check and see if the silicone is set. Don't pull too hard, just very gently. really satisfied with how this turned out. It looks really good. It almost looks as good as the original manufacturer. Thank each and every one of you for watching. This has been Fresh TV with your host, Richard Donald. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, drop me a line, tell me what you think. And if you wanna keep up with me, be sure to click the bell so that way you get notifications each time I put out something new. Until then, stay fresh. Peace, one love. You're watching Fresh TV.
You're watching Fresh TV, and I'm your host, Richard Dunn. I would like to personally thank everyone for watching. Please be. I would like to personally thank. I would like to personally thank each and every one of you. I would like to personally thank each and every one of you for watching. And if you want to keep up with me, one love.